Hey ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back. This is Force and here today we will be taking a look at Invisible Ink. Clay Entertainment reached out to me as part of a sponsored deal. So full disclosure, this is a paid sponsorship, uh, but we're going to be just in a couple of videos giving this game a look, running through it, and just seeing what it's all about. Uh, now, this is a tactical espionage turn-based game and once again it is from Clay Entertainment, the same company that made Mark of the Ninja, which I covered that a while ago and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Which which is part of the reason I agreed to do this sponsorship, because I said, yeah, I've liked your games before, I'll give this game a look. So with that said, in the next couple of videos, we'll just be playing through, seeing what this game is all about. We're gonna jump right in right now. Uh, let's start off here, it looks like there's a few different options. We can choose the different difficulties, and it looks like there's some uh, different advanced options. You can choose different things like Expert Plus, Endless Mode, Endless Plus, Time Attack, or you can even set up these custom games. Well, that, holy crap, that's a lot of options. <laughs> it's way too many for me. Uh, let's go with the moderate difficulty here and experienced and jump right into the game. Get to the main server, collect the data, and get out. No detours. Copy that, Central. Proceeding to target. Kabam! Woo! Insertion was clean. Alarm level holding steady. We need to get to the third floor. We can make our way to the server room from there. Any chatter on the comms? Negative. It's silent on all frequencies. Uh oh. They should have detected us by now. They're coming! Careful! This is not good. Receiving They're on to you. Get out! Get out of there! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Guys, they found us. This isn't- oh god. <laughs> this isn't good. Holy crap, they're shooting at them! Alright, I thought they were just gonna take them hostage or something. This is a little grim for my liking. Okay, this guy's getting blown up with super laser bullets or something. Get your data. HQ compromised. We're going to need an extraction. I've got incognito. Deckard and International are on their way. Get to the roof. I'll cover you. Get out of there! Damn, look at this girl. She's badass. Go! No! <laughs> Keep moving. Is that like the boss guy? That's the Decker, captain. Or how something. long till extraction? 30 seconds. To the roof, and they're not even chasing her. She'll be fine. There you go, no problem. Oh, they were chasing her. Get us out of here. Invisible Link. Incognito reboot sequence. Oh gosh. Casually report there are agents dead all over the world, and we've got a 72 hour. Got work to do. 72 hour power reserve on our hands here. That doesn't, I don't feel like that gives us much time to get done what we need to do. All right, so we got to pick our team here. Looks like we only have two choices at the moment. That is Decker and International. Uh, they have got different strengths here, so we can see more speed here for Decker, which enhances his movement and increased hacking for International, which boosts power gain from hacked consoles. That means we're going to want to use her to hack the consoles. Strength. Uh, agent strength carry without being slow, it improves drag speed, okay. And anarchy allows agent to siphon credits from guards and find more items, interesting. He's got neural networking, which allows him to uncover daemons and, uh, and adjacent objects. This one has a neural disruptor and a cloaking rig, which uh, cloaks him for a turn. And then we've got the wireless emitter. Allows Agent to hack items from a distance through walls, automatically reveals nearby mainframe objects, and she has got a neural disruptor as well. And a couple of programs here, although it appears like I only have access to this one, and uh, everything else is locked at the moment. We are just at the very start of the game, so that makes sense. But yeah, it appears like we'll get additional agents in the future. This is what we have at the moment, so let us begin. 
it's 2074, and corporations rule the world with brutal efficiency. They hit you hard, and now you're on the run. You need to strike back, but you'll never win by force, haha <laughs> pun. Keep your agents alive with stealth and cunning, raid the corpse facilities for tools and support, and prepare your team for the final showdown. The odds are stacked against you, you will fail repeatedly, but each time you will learn more about your adversaries, and every restart generates a new world of dangers and opportunities. You have a tough job ahead of you, operator. Don't let us down. I'll try not to. Let's get this show on the road. Day one. Operator, are you there? Yes. Good. I was afraid you didn't make it out. Headquarters is gone. Most of our agents have been captured or killed, and our accounts all frozen. I don't know how the corporations found us, but you can bet they won't give up now that they've had a taste of blood. The Jets' stealth rig should keep us hidden if we keep moving, but Incognita can't survive long on backup power. She's got 72 hours tops. We need to mount a counterattack before then, or we'll be defenseless against their scans. If that happens, we may as well just crash this thing into the ocean. You've never seen the inside of a corporate deprogramming chamber. I won't see the inside of another. Incognita is scanning for targets of opportunity where we can replenish our supplies. Follow her leads and gather what resources you can. I'll run through our contacts and see what favors I can call in. We're going to need all of the advantages we can find in the coming days. Alrighty, sounds good, Central. Is that her name? I... <laughs> Alright, agency loadout updated. So here's our uh, agents that we picked. These are the programs that we have. And, uh, yeah, hours remaining 72. We got some credits. We got a net worth or whatever. And it looks like this is the only mission that we have access to. Plastech Executive Terminals in Santa Cruz. It's a 12-hour trip. Executives are notoriously slack when it comes to network security, and their terminals are full of interesting information. We found a lightly guarded executive complex here. Get in, find the computer, and steal their contact list. Then we'll have our pick of future targets. All right, so we got to find a contact list. The objective is to find the corporate directory terminal and retrieve the information. Rewards, pinpoint new corporate locations of interest. And then we've got, what's this, Plastech Cyber Medical using cybernetic augment, augmentation. They've modified their troops to meld with the mainframe. Interested. Guarded level one. Facilities guarded by civilian level. So, yeah, I mean, early game mission or whatever. Let's infiltrate. Get inside. Go. Here we are. Bad news, operator. They caught us completely by surprise, so we have no firepower with us. The guard's weapons are gene-coded to their owner and useless to us. We're going to have to make do with what we can find along the way. We've beamed you through the security grid. You should be somewhere near the target, but you'll need to look for it. Get the list and find a transport pad to escape. But be quick about it. They noticed a disturbance when we ported in, and their alarm level is already rising. Alrighty. Uh, so we skipped the tutorial, but I've already gone through it, so I know some of the basic stuff, which we'll go over here, and then I'm assuming there's going to be some more further things discussed in this uh, first mission as well. So the objectives, locate the executive terminals, get out alive, and then secondary objectives that are fine and steal corporate credits, we'll try to do that as well. I want to make myself as rich as possible. Uh, so we've got the two different agents, and you notice when I switched to her, she was able to see this stuff through the wall. Uh, so it is turn-based, so we basically got to move them. Uh, we move them, they've got a set number of AP per turn. You can see different AP for each of the different units, uh, the different uh, agents that I have. They've got some actions down here, like you can set up ambushes. Uh, when we get guns, eventually I'll be able to use it. I can peek around corners. I can do a sprint, which gives plus three AP for the turn, but movement makes noise, and we must have AP to actually activate that. Uh, if you mess up really bad, there's a rewind option right here. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just get going. Uh, we got a couple of doors to check over here. So let me move Decker here first, and we'll take a quick peek through the door. Gives me a little bit of a look on the inside, and then I can open that door and take another peek. Uses up some AP, but that lets you see fully around corners and everything. And then I guess we'll just... Uh, ooh, there's a terminal right here. Uh, but it's better if I actually hack the terminals with her, so... I'm gonna wait to do that. Now, there's certain things that you gotta actually break into, and we can access Incognita to do that, so I can come up here to do this. And you can see these safes here, uh, they need to be hacked into, so I can use Incognita to do that. I can also use her to hack cameras and things of that nature. And that's gonna use up the power, which is in the upper left-hand corner. So let's go ahead and uh, hack this here, and we'll hack this one as well. And since we're right next to this safe, we can open it, and that gives me some credits, wonderful. Now I'm going to use her to peek through 
Looks like there's a camera in there, so I can hit space again, access incognita. I can disable that camera, and that shows me that there's a, uh, a person right here. So this is a guard. I can observe his movements. It looks like he's stationary, so he's not going to be doing any movement whatsoever. Um, but I don't. I want her to actually go hack this mainframe over here, which she can't reach it yet. Let me move her closer. Okay, there we go. I can actually use it now with my wireless. So this is like one of her special abilities where she can remotely remotely uh, hack stuff and we get extra power when we hack with her so that gives us more power to use for more of the hacking stuff that we want to do and now i'm going to move her back here and he's got some more ap so we're going to move him over here and then we pass the turn which we can click on that or we can just hit enter which is what i'll do here so it's got enemy activity and, and when and if they're able to move they will move uh so, so here's a security level uh basically as time goes on, every turn it, it bumps up one, or if you like mess up, like if you get spotted by a, a, a surveillance camera or motion detectors or something, that'll increase. And every time, every five ticks, it's going to go up a security level, which will beam in additional guards and activate more security cameras or things like that. All right, so for her, since this guy's stationary here, we're going to actually have her open the door, and then we're going to go behind him here. Warning. Can't go there. I gotta go right here, and then I can actually. Uh, ooh, you know what? Actually, let me do some remote hacking with her. There we go. Is there any cam? That's a camera, but she can't see it yet. And I can knock him out. So I just need to get a little bit close to him, and then I can go KO, which is gonna knock him down for a little bit of time. Uh, let me disable that camera while we can. And we're gonna knock him out. Go boom, 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 boom. And that's gonna knock him out for three turns. Or if I stay on him pinned, it'll 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 keep him down for a while. Now while he's down. We can steal from them, so we get a, a security pass, which let us go through certain security measures like locked doors. Also got some credits off of him. Now over here for Decker, since we've unlocked this, we're going to go ahead and open that up. And uh, I want to check. It looks like there's nothing else over here except for another lock safe, which we've got the power to open that now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take... Oh, no, he can't. He's got no more action for the turn, so that's it. So let's switch back over to her. Let's get some remote uh, hacking of this console. And uh, let's take a peek through the door here. I don't see anything at the moment. Let's open it up. And uh, I guess that's it for now. Well, let's close it just in case there's enemies like walking this way. I don't want them to see me. And I can also drag the bodies, but you know, I don't have any more AP for the turn. So that's going to do it for now. So let's pass it back over here. And that's going to bring things up one. And now for him, let's see here, actually. Take a quick look. Oh, yeah, there's still something in there. That's right. I almost walked away without uh, opening this, actually. Just going to move him here. Open up the safe, get some credits. Um, it doesn't look... Yeah, there's nothing. I, I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing any doors. And he just needs to make his way back out because there's no other uh, exit out of here, evidently. And then back for her. Is there anything even in this room? Oh, looks like there's another hallway down there. Well, I guess for... Yeah, I'll go check. I'll go look in here. Take a quick peek. Oh, that's it. Okay, so nothing else in here. Uh, this door, this is where uh, these doors are like security guards will beam in as the security level gets increased over time. So for the moment, it's nothing, but in the future, it, it, it will be something. Uh, so what I'll do with her is I'm going to bring her back over here. And she's all out of AP, unfortunately. So I guess that's it for now. Kind of a silly turn, but I did want to check down there just in case there was something else in that area. So Decker, she's gonna move him back over this way. And then now with her, we can do some advancing. Let's peek in, let's open it up. Let's go uh, check around this corner here. Peek around the corner. Nothing doing, nothing doing. All right, and we're gonna make it out of this door. I'm gonna take a quick, oh, uh, remote hack here. Boom, give me that power. Peek on in. Uh, some more things to activate here. So we're gonna go ahead and hack this. Ooh, that revealed all of the consoles in the area. That's very cool. I didn't even know what that was going to do. It reveals the location of all consoles. It <laughs> says it right on it. Okay, now let's observe his movements. We cannot. That requires AP. So I can't observe his movements. I do believe he will move, though, because I heard some guard moving around earlier. So let's see if that's the case. Yeah, here he comes. So he moves back in this direction. But while he's right there, I could probably knock him out. Um... She, yep, she's got access to her disruptor now, so she can she can go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk right behind him, and pop. 
Boom! Knock him in the face. Get out of here. You stay down there. You stay down there. Now Decker wants to move over here. And I'm going to close the door so that this guard um, doesn't see as soon as he gets up to walk over in this direction. Then we're going to walk over here. And then with her, let us go ahead and go this way and check in this door. Because it looks like we got some stuff over here now. No, no more AP to check there at the moment. So that's it for now. Within the turn. Okay. Someone walking in this room. So there's gotta be someone right over there. All right, alarm level has been increased to one now. Surveillance level increased. So I think that means we've got some more cameras up. Yeah, that camera just went up. It's rebooting right now. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need to shut that off though because um, my agents are gonna be out of here right now. So I don't need to shut that off, we're fine, whatever. All right, so Decker, you move in. You, um, oh, we forgot to steal from this guy. Security good card, get that. And I actually am thinking about just moving him into this room and shutting the door, just so I have some time in this uh, area. So let's go ahead and um, pick him up, move him on over, and then we'll drop him down. Move in, we'll close this door, just like that. Okay, now on to International. Let's take a peek. Uh, there's something funny going on in here. I don't know if that's a camera. I think that might be a guard, though. Okay, so the guard was looking in this direction. He saw the door being opened. Now, what this means is he's going to move on over here. Uh, which is kind of a problem because I can't set up an ambush with her. So I'm going to move her here. And I'm going to shut the door. And uh, I'm a little worried because he is sitting right here and he has no more AP. So this is actually kind of a scary situation right now. Because uh, I, can't, I can't knock out with her. I could make him invisible, though. So that he won't see her, him. So let's make him invisible. I think I can use it. There we go. So now he's invisible. So this way, if he's looking straight ahead, he actually won't see him. All right, so let's go ahead and pass the turn. Now I'm going to leave her uh, right there. Actually, no, you know what? Why don't we move her uh, tucked behind this little console here? Oh, there. What about this? Let's, let's hack this here. Okay. And let's hack this camera, too. I don't want that camera to see me. These cameras back here, I don't care about. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. I'm a little nervous. That guard should make it to here in his one turn. That guy got up. The door cl is closed, though. Oh, you know what? He did not make it over here in that turn. Well, would you look at that? All right. Well, let's go Decker over here. Let's have him peek through. Where's that guard? He's sitting right there. He's waiting for it. Okay. So I... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. Uh, we've got the security card. I think that means I can pass through here safely, actually. Let me try that. I think with the security card, I can pass through these safely. I think so, anyways. No. I guess not. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, let's go ahead and end the turn. He's going to be moving right into here. But it's fine, because Decker can knock him out right away. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. Looking around. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. All, All right, right, so he's in here. He's looking around. He's spotted. Alarm went up. And those guys don't know what's up. But I think with him, I can knock him out right away. That's, what's, that's what we're going to do. Bam. And then let's steal from him. Credits. Charge pack to recharge weapon ammunition. I don't really need that because I don't have any weapons. So what do I want to do with her now? we got a couple places to check. I'm a little worried, though, because now these guys are going to come inspect in here. Um... So maybe, maybe, maybe I should pick him up and move him. I think I should. So let's drag his body. Let's do it in here. Put him back down. Let's open this door. Let's drag his body again. Put him in here. Put him back down. Close the door. There we go. That way those guys don't see that body right away. And that's it for in there. We got something to check over here, which we can do. I think I'll keep him pinned for the turn, though. And with her... I can check these rooms. Yeah, let's check these rooms with her. So let's walk over here first. Oh, there we go. Hack that. Okay. 
Now let's peek in here. Where's the executive terminal? Ooh. I bet they're writing gripping TPS reports on that. <laughs> gripping, gripping TPS reports. <laughs> it's pretty fun. All right, let's. Um, okay, we'll peek in here next turn too. But that's the uh, that's the terminal that we need to get into. And you, you stay keeping him pinned for now. Let's pass the turn. Just get in the area. All right, so there's he's scanning the area. Whatever. Alarm level raised to two now. Okay, so security's been enhanced. All right, now for you, she's gonna be checking the. Let's check the. Let's peek into here first with her. I think we'll be safe, yeah. I want to take check around these corners. Now, what does this give me? Oh, spend credits for items. That's a uh, like a little store. All right, let's peek around the corner here. I'm guessing these are security cameras over there. Um, I need to get back through here, but that's fine because I've got a key to get through that door. So I'll be able to do that, no problem. And... I can hack this console with her now. So now we got plenty of power. And now with you, Decker, why don't we bring you over here? I want you to see what's in this room. Okay, I think it's just, yeah, it's just that. All right, perfect, okay. So you'll be there, you're, you're fine for now. Uh, her, I guess I'll just move her around the corner. Get her closer to, uh, we need to get into that room to hack that. And then pass the turn. I think somebody's down, calling it in. Oh gosh. Way. Oh gosh, that guy went in there to check. Oh no, I need to go back through that way. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's close this door for now. Let's get in here, get this. It might have not been worth it. Trying to get the, these items here. I don't know, man. Let's hack the corporate safe. We got enough power. Power supply. Breaks one firewall. I think that's this uh, over here. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. Well, at this point, it doesn't matter because I already got uh, revealed by it. But I guess this just means if I had gone in here first, I could have shut that off before I walked through it. Let's go ahead and check this. Safe. And then, in case that guy walks in here, I'm going to put him behind here. So uh, hopefully he's a little bit stealth there. All right, now back to her. Um, let's walk over here first. Okay, here's a camera. And this, I think this is the elevator out of the place. And we can open this door, because we have our encryption. But, I don't, I don't have enough AP to really get in there. Much, I can get in here, here. That's fine, I think I should be safe if I just walk in here. Let's shut the door. And then I'll need to get there on my next turn. Okay, let's go ahead and pass the turn again. I hope they don't check that room where Decker is. Decker's in a really a crap, crappy spot here. Investigating the area. Investigating area. That guy's nowhere close. And he isn't really close. To, well, he is kind of close, but she should be fine. Um, all right, so international. Let's have you get the encrypted data here. This is what we've been looking for. Boom, site list. Good job. You've got the side list. They noticed you poking about and have changed up their patrols. That's Be not good. On your way out. So what I'm concerned about now, I need to go back and help save Decker. I'm gonna set her up for an ambush. You know what? I should tell this guy to come over here actually. So I'm gonna open up the door so that? he sees it. And then I'm gonna set up an ambush. Perfect. So this hopefully should let Decker get out of here safely. He has two more turns where, where, where he's down, so I should be okay. I'm going to go through here. We're going to close the door. He's going to come over, um, check that spot, and then she's going to knock him out. I think that's perfect. All right. Okay, here we go. I think I should be okay. I should be able to get them both out without too much. There we go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Knocked him out. All right. Beautiful. And uh, why don't we actually use uh, steel? Oh, no. There's nothing to steal from him? Okay. All right, so Decker, you come here, use the key to open this up. So we'll open up, walk through, close the door so that no one sees you. And then you are safe to uh, run this way. Shut the door behind you. 
and then end the, end the turn. Oh, I made it! I'm gonna make it out nice and safe. What happened? Don't worry about what happened, dude. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Okay, Decker, come through. Close that door. Here we go. You, my friend. We're all set. We actually already hacked that camera. So that's it. That is it. Ooh, yeah. Made it out. First mission successful. So security level three added a guard now. But it doesn't matter at this point. We are so far out of here that whatever. International, get on in there. Decker, make it. We got to pass the turn again. This is a turn. This is a turn-based game. Full bore. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Well, that's the first mission. Thanks for watching, guys. Mission successful. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's take this uh, and get out of here. Let's get out of here. We did what we came to do. Executive had a very interesting list of contacts. I'm sure they won't miss it. Essential. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for our first episode of Invisible Ink. Thank you guys so much for watching this sponsored playthrough. Stay tuned, we're gonna come up with another video checking out another mission, trying to be stealthy and steal all of their loots. I'll see you guys later.